traders. Allow me to show you the simplest way of trading that will basically change the way you understand the market. This strategy is tested and it's proven to work and trust me, you don't need millions of indicators. I will make it simple so that every trader will understand and therefore be able to start using it immediately and the very first method is we have to identify the order flow. We need to know where the market is going. Is it going up or is it going down? Now order flow is totally different from daily bias. We will not require daily bias in this video, we will only look at the trend. So the very first step is to identify the order flow. Are we going up? So in this case, you can see we are going up. Now, the best tip that I can give you to identify a solid order flow is to look at a clear trend. I don't want to see price consolidating and just going up and down. I want to see a clear trend whenever I come to the chart of that specific pair or asset, I will know within a second that where the price is going by just looking at it, I'll give it a look if it's going up. I know that the trend is bullish now, I will keep on trading with that trend. Now, what it does, it just greatly improves your win rate. It will put the odds in your favor. So the very first step is to identify the order flow. Once you have identified the order flow, all you simply have to do is to mark out the PD arrays in the discount. So in this, that would be a discount area because we're going up. So by discount area, I mean order blocks. So the order flow in this example, you can see I have drawn this as bullish. So we want to trade longs. So I will mark out every single order block that is there. Now, order blocks don't necessarily have to be in the discount zone. We want to utilize every single order block, but it is always better to take your entry from the order blocks that are in the discount zone. But it is not mandatory. We want to utilize every single order block, so we have to look at the order flow on the 4 hour time frame. Remember this, we are not going to use any other different time frame. We want to stick with the 4 hour time frame. When we see that the trend is bullish or bearish on the 4 hour time frame, we will be taking our entries on the 15 minute time frame. So we want to wait for price to come back into the 4 hour order block. Once price comes back into the 4 hour order block, we want to drop down to 15 minutes time frame. Once we drop down to 15 minutes time frame, all we are simply looking for is a market structure shift on a 15 minute time frame during kill zone hours. Now, this is very necessary and a lot of people don't even use this technique. All they would do is take their entries during kill zones one hour. But we also want to see a market structure shift during kill zone. This is very important. You have to keep this in mind. We want to see a market structure shift either during the London session or the New York session. If you get a market structure shift during Asian session, that is not a valid market structure shift because the Asian range is mostly considered as a liquidity pool or a accumulation phase. Now, once you get a market structure shift during London or New York session, you're simply going to take you from the order block and go for 1 to 2 or 1 to 2.5 not less, not more. And once price gets to 1 to 1 or 1 to 1.5 risk to reward, you can go break even now. It is totally up to you if you want to go break even. Personally, I do go break even once 1 to 1.5 or 1 to 1 is hit. If the setup is very good, I would hold it till 1 to 1.5 and then go break even. But if the setup is like normal, the market structure wasn't clear or whatever the case was, I would go break even right after 1 to 1 just to be on the safe side for protecting my capital. Now, this is the entire strategy guys. It's very simple. It it requires nothing at all. It's just you have to look at the order flow on the 4 hour time frame and then you have to mark out every single bullish order block. That is going to push the price up and from those order blocks. Or you could say support level, you can look to take your entries. The most important thing in this strategy is to correctly identify the order flow how do you do that? You have to look at the trend. Are we consistently respecting the bullish fair value gaps, order blocks, you know, liquidity pools, 
whatever might be, you just have to identify that correctly and it is very simple. You will know it. If you just come on to the charts, look at the chart for around 1 to 5 seconds. If you can just identify that within 5 seconds, then you are on the right path. But if you're just confused, like where is the market going? And it's taking you long to identify the order flow, then don't trade that pair. It should be obvious when you come to that chart and you will know it. It's just gonna be like shown to you. It's very simple guys, order block market structure shift on the 15 minutes time frame entry during kill zones on our market structure shift during kills on hours, we go for 1 to 2 or 1 to 2.5 grow break even after 1 to 1.5 or 1 to 1 is hit. I'll give you guys a couple of examples. Make sure you stick till the end because the examples are gonna vary. They're gonna be different examples. And one thing is that this strategy might not work for you because you know, I can give you the best strategy in the world. But if not work, if you don't practice, you need to have experience with whatever I'm teaching you, you cannot just go into the live markets after watching this video. No, you have to back test. Because if every single person watches this video and uses this strategy and becomes profitable, that it is just simply not possible. Only some of you will be profitable and pass your challenges with the strategy. Only if you back test and forward test and have confidence in this strategy. This strategy works for me and I'm not sure if it's gonna work for you. I'm being brutally honest. It works for me. I'm teaching you exactly what I use. I'm almost certain that it is going to work for most of you if you back test and forward test. So let's move on to the examples. So here is example, number one, I'm looking at USD JPY on the 4 hour time frame. So first off, we're gonna look at the order flow. Where are we going? So right after I came on the chart, I knew where exactly we are going. We don't need to go way back, just look at the price action. Where are we going? We are simply going up, right? It should be obvious to buy now. Now let's see what happened here. So over here, what do we have? We have this big bearish candle. And whenever there's a big bearish candle like this, we want to use the 50% of that candle. Just to refine it. So here is our order block, right? We want to primarily look to enter below the 0.5 level of this candle or at the 50% specifically for the size of this candle. Not every single candle. Now, let's go to the 15 minutes time frame. Very simple guys. This is literally my simplest model and I like, I love to use this model. What do we have? We dip down this line here is the order block. We dip down into this order block. We get a shift in the market structure right around here. What when did it happen at 10? That was during New York kill zone. So that is perfect. Now, what do we have consecutive bearish candles here? This is our order block. We also have a fair value gap, but I'd love to take my entries of the order block. Now, my entry would be at 11 that is still in the kill zone. So stop goes right below this low and we will simply go for 1 to 2 or 1 to 2.5. And in this scenario, you can see that 1 to 2.5 was hit beautifully point here is that we went into take profit level quite nicely. Now, here is the thing guys, I want to be like extremely, extremely realistic with you. I do not like to sell you the dream if you went a break even at 1 to 1, you would have closed at break even. And that is the reality of trading. But if you held till 1 to 1.5 and I love to do that. Most of the time I'm holding 1 to 1.5. Because price will, most of the time will give you an entry, go into some profits, then come back again into that same order block and then to move towards that direction. So just go breaking after 1 to 1.5 and the take profit was hit. So let me give you guys another example. I'm not gonna your cat on the 4 hour time frame. So the moment that I came onto this chart, I knew exactly where the market is going. You can see the clean order flow here. We are simply going up. I didn't have to think anything else. 
I knew exactly where the market is going by the time I was on this chart. So now let's talk about this example here. Now, on the 4 hour time frame, we have these consecutive bearish candle that is an order block price dipped into it. And then we had this huge expansion. So let's go to the 15 minutes time frame now and see what exactly happened on this order block. This line that I've drawn here is the order block price dipped into this order block. We did have a shift in the market structure here, but it wasn't a clean shift. However, when we come here, you can see we have a clean shift in the market structure. This is the high, the candle to the left is lower and the candle to the right is also lower. So that is a high over here. Now, we have a shift in the market structure with the candle closure and these consecutive bearish candles is our order block. So if I draw this out like that price dipped into this also had a shift in the market structure during kill zones and we also got our entry during the kill zones and you can see this beautiful expansion to the upside that would have given you 1 to 2.5 without basically going break even. So, let me give you guys one more example and then I will end the video. Alright guys. So here is the last example, I'm looking at Euro AUD on the 4 hour time frame, so over here, you can see that we were bearish, but then we had a shift in the market structure here on the 4 hour. And then we also had a break of structure solidifying that the new order flow is in play. Now, this is a bit of risky approach. But it works. You don't have to always look for a established order flow, you can also look for fresh order flow formations. And that is when higher time frame PD arrays like weekly PDRA, if price comes into your weekly PD and then you get a market structure shift, that could be an indication that the new fresh order flow is about to start. I hope that makes sense. So over here, what do we have? We have these consecutive bearish candles. That is your order block. Now, if I drop down to 15 minutes time frame, you can see this is the order block price comes into this. Now, I'm gonna give you a bonus tip by now. You must be familiar with turtle soups. If you get a turtle soup on the 15 minutes time frame and then you get a market structure shift that will increase the win rate by 10 to 15%, even 20%. I'm not even kidding here. 20% is a bit higher, but I would say 10 to 15%. A turtle soup is basically a liquidity and then the price purchases a liquidity and goes into the 4 hour order block and then you get a market structure shift. So this was a turtle soup here. Let me draw this out like that. And that is a bonus tip. Now, over here, what do we have? We have a shift in the market structure during the kill zones very important and this consecutive bearish candles is our order block. We also had this fair value gap. We went into some drawdown here. That is absolutely fine stop goes right below this low and we simply target 1 to 2.5 or 1 to 2.